Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Soul of Books podcast, a hangout place for all the book lovers out there. I hope you guys are having a great day and let's get started. So today I'll be talking about Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lynn. If you want fairy tale wives, dragons, curses, quests, and talking paper cranes, then you need to read Six Crimson Cranes. Shiori is the princess of Kiata, the seventh and only girl child, 16 years old, spoiled by brothers, and has a hot and cold relationship with her stepmother. She has a big secret to keep. Forbidden magic runs through her veins. She can do magic by giving lies to paper birds. I know what you're thinking. Seriously, not something like reading people's mind or something. Nope. But giving life to paper birds. But if you think about it, it's kind of cool. It's a small scale, but it's still threatening if you are the princess to an empire that forbids magic. Normally, she conceals it well, but on the morning of her betrothal ceremony, Shiori loses control. At first, her mistake seems like a stroke of luck for stalling the wedding she never wanted. But it also catches the attention of Raikama, her stepmother. Raikama has dark magic of her own, and she banishes the young princess, turning her brothers into cranes, and warning Shiori that she must speak of it to no one. For with every word that escapes her lips, one of her brothers will die. Penniless, voiceless, and alone, Shiori searches for her brothers and on her journey uncovers a conspiracy to overtake the throne. A conspiracy more twisted and deceitful, more cunning and complex than ever Raikama's betrayal. Only Shiori can set the kingdom to rights, but to do so, she must place her trust in the very boy she fought so hard not to marry, and she must embrace the magic she's been taught all her life to contain, no matter what it costs her. But this is the only beginning of her compelling adventure and nothing is as it seems. As she learns more about herself and the curse, she slowly finds out how naive she was from the beginning and she is the only one to change things radically in the empire. Shiori is such a strong and brave character determined to save her brothers even if she knows she'll get hurt along the way. She's so easy to root for, she has a vibrant personality, believable goals and an adorable origami friend. Each of her brothers has a unique individual personality. It was so easy to tell them apart. The sequel to The Six Crimson Cranes is out and is called The Dragon's Promise. Elizabeth Lim is a great writer. I also love her Spin the Dawn series. So give it a try and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you like the podcast, drop a big thumbs up. Subscribe, it helps out the channel and turn on notification to be notified when I post new content. Alright, that's it for the week. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.